Hey guys, Josh here with OBF. Today I'm going to be doing another video with you on goal setting. So I'm sure you've all read the article by now. Goal setting is a pretty, pretty, pretty big issue when it comes to body transformation and everything. It's square one, it's where we start, it's how we determine where you are now and exactly where you want to go. So why do we talk about it and why do we put so much emphasis into getting it right is because it's really easy to get it wrong and it's really easy to allow it to mean nothing when you go to set a goal. So setting a goal means a whole bunch of different things to different people depending on how you actually do it. So you need to know where you're going in order to actually get there and to get there even faster. So we need to define every single step of that process. Right? We can't have a very general, nebulous goal. We need to have something that's very specific. So, what are the two main problems that people have when setting a goal? Well, number one is never writing it down. And I don't mean on your laptop or your phone or anything. I mean a pen and a piece of paper, or even better, a sticky pad note, and writing it down, your own handwriting, putting that brain onto your paper. It really does help. It sounds simple and kind of stupid, but it's phenomenal how much it actually helps. And one technique that I want you to use is use the front of mind technique where you write down about a dozen different sticky notes and you place them everywhere. Everywhere that's important in your life, you know, on your fridge, in your mirror, in your bedroom, all over the place, all over your house, all over your car, all over your desk, at your workplace, okay? It needs to constantly be front of mind. So that's number one, that's the most important. And that's even without even discussing how to actually set the goal in the first place. Okay, so number two is obviously your goals are not smart. S M A R T. Okay, so specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and with a time frame. That is exactly how we need to set up your goals. It's a very basic principle, it's a very well known principle, and that's just simply because it works. It works really, really well. And when you're dealing with body transformation and fitness, it works even better. This is, the, this is the best example of where to use it. So, getting specific. Weight means nothing. Oh, I want to lose 10 pounds. No, you want to look 10 pounds lighter, and you want to look better, and you want to feel better, and you want everything that that 10 pounds will bring you, right? So, a better idea is to break it down into something more specific. So, you want six pack abs, or you want a specific body fat percentage, or you want to be a specific dress size. That is much, much more specific than just saying, oh, I want to lose weight. You know, I want to lose 10 pounds is a little bit more specific, but we can break it down even more, okay? So, that's specific. Now, measurable. Everything needs to be trackable, okay? I want to feel better. I can't really track that. <laughs> we can track it in a behavioral uh, journal and stuff like that, and obviously you're going to be feeling better, but we need to be able to track progress to make sure that we're headed in the right direction. So I use the body fat percentage again as an example, right? Using calipers, I can measure your body fat every single week and make sure that you're actually headed in the right direction and on track for that goal. So we know whether you need to adjust your course, pull back, push harder, and stuff like that, okay? So everything has to be measurable. So attainable is the next one. Can it actually be done? You know, if you're, if you're 45 years old, you haven't trained in 20 years, and you want to compete in the Olympics, it's probably not going to happen. I'm not saying you can't, but it probably won't, uh, given what most people are actually able to commit to. So you actually have to make sure that it's attainable. And this is where uh, short, medium, and long-term goal setting comes into play as well. Because if we set, you can have a massive, massive long-term goal, but it's going to seem really, really untouchable unless we break down to medium and short-term goals, okay? And the best way to determine if your goal is actually attainable, especially when it comes to body transformation, is talk to a coach like myself or anyone else here at OBF because we'll actually be able to break down how long things will actually take in the real world. Okay? Now, number four, realistic is kind of a blend of the last three. Is can the goal actually be accomplished in the time frame that you've established? Right? Is, is it realistic to set a goal for 12 weeks of that magnitude? Yes, we can accomplish you dropping 30 pounds, but can it be done in four weeks? Probably not, not healthily, right? So, the last one that leads me to is time, right? Everything needs a deadline. You cannot have an open-ended goal. If you have an open-ended goal, you're probably never gonna touch it ever, okay? So we need a time frame, whether that's 12 weeks, 40 days, 
42 weeks, you know, all over the place. It doesn't matter. We just need a date so that we can work backwards from that. Okay, guys? So goal setting, obviously, is square one for everyone. Extremely important. Go back and read this part, the two-part article series if you haven't already. And remember, write down those goals and keep them smart. Okay? I'll see you in the next video, guys. It's good to see you.